Hello and welcome to the Smart Process YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be explaining PT or VT rate. So that's power transformer or voltage transformer rate um, on the SDM6 MCT series. How to set it, if you need to set it, what it is and why you need it. So we often get this question, what is PT rate? What should I be setting my PT ratio to? And do I need to do anything with this meter um, in, in regards to that? And the answer, is yes and no. So um, it really depends if you've got a PT VT in place, which is power transformer or voltage transformer. And um, if you haven't, then you don't need to worry about this. If you've just got a standard low voltage supply and you're pulling uh, 400 volts for three phase or 230 volts for single phase off your distribution board, then you've got no issues. If that is the case, then you don't need to worry about changing the meter at all. Um, a lot of people like to get the meter and configure it themselves and go through all the settings and make sure everything's set optimally, which is great. But generally, if you've purchased the meter from us, a bundle of CTs or, you know, one meter and one CT, we generally set it before dispatch. And most of the time we'll let you know as well if we do manage to speak to you. But the PT ratio is not something that always needs to be set. And if you are one of them people that do not have a power transformer or voltage transformer, which is the same thing, by the way, just referred to differently. If you don't have one of them in place and you don't need to worry about setting the PT rate on your meter, the standard setting, which is for free phase, it'll be PT2 400 and PT rate 0001. That's the standard for free phase and for single phase, same, but instead of 400 on the PT2, it'll be 230. So if you're one of them people, then this video is not for you and you can just leave the PT rate as standard. However, if you do have a high voltage supply and you've got a power transformer or a voltage transformer in situ, then you do need to set the PT rate and this is how you do so. So again, if you do not have a power transformer or voltage transformer in situ, then this part of the video is not for you. So please don't worry about it. But if you do have a high voltage in place, then this is how you set the PT ratio. So we've got the meter here powered up using the auxiliary supply, just a live and neutral in there to give us some power. We're gonna press and hold the E button for three seconds until we see pass. And we've got this, uh, these digits here with the first one flashing. We're gonna use the M or the upwards arrow to change this, just tap it once, change this to a thousand. And then we're gonna press and hold E for three seconds. And now we're in the settings menu of the meter. Gonna uh, tap the P button to scroll, this is a downwards arrow, so we're gonna scroll through the meter, just tapping it one time until we get to set PT2, 400. So for example, if you had an 11 kV supply, we wanna change this, Use, so sorry, I press, press and hold the E button to go into the menu, and now I'm just pressing the P button to tap down the first digit to 100. I'm gonna tap the E button once, don't press and hold, just tap to move over to the next digit. You see that's flashing now. And we're going to use the M or upwards arrow to change that to 1. So we've got 110. Then to lock that in, we'd press and hold the E button for 3 seconds. I'm not going to do it because this is an MID approved meter. And it means we'd have to use a reset code to reset it afterwards. So we'll just go back. But say that's now 110. Then we press the P button once more to go down to PT rate 0001. We're going to press and hold E to go into that setting. So we've got the first digit flash in. I want to change this to 100. So I'm going to tap E to move along to the next digits. I'm going to change the 100 digit here to 1 using the M upwards arrow. Tap once, tap once, up to the last digit there, and we're going to tap P to change it to 100. Again, you'd press and hold E to save the setting. I'm not going to do so on this occasion, but once you press and hold E, it should say good. If it says error, then just give us a call and we'll be able to help you out or drop us an email. Uh, I'll leave the details in the outro at the end of the video. So for example, if you've got an 11,000 volt supply, 11 kV, which is quite common across the high voltage range, and you need to set your meter accordingly, you would set PT2 to 110, 110, and then you'd set your PT rate to 100. So that'll be the PT, um, PT2 times the PT rate, so 110 times 100 will give you 11,000 volts and that will allow your meter to do the relevant calculations and work out the correct kilowatt hour and energy consumption and give you the correct data. Thank you very much for watching through to the end. 
If you have any questions or need any additional information, feel free to get in touch with us on 01268 773 422 or the email address inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk. Please like the video. As I said, leave any comments as well. Um, we, we reply to all our comments, so feel free to leave a comment with any questions. And please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.